Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Since the last video, I got help killing um, Tetsukabra a few times in the hub. So I have uh, this armor set that gives 20 more health, and also I have the weapon. And it was upgraded once because they they posted a Hunter Rank 2 quest that I don't actually have access to yet to get claws. And it was very helpful. And I'm thankful. But today will be a kind of mix of progress in Hunter Rank, uh, Village Rank 3. I finished, I cleared up all of these, and I did some of these. This one's kind of fun. Bulldrum was very squishy, but there's a lot of generic monsters here, and I'm going to use them as a chance to try out the uh, a couple of other hunting styles because I remembered that it doesn't really make it clear here like it does indicate it like this has versatile mix of attacks but I forgot that they have different combo systems Actually, can I change it here? We're like... Aerial... Obviously, we, jumping attack stuff is different. Like, Striker... There's a sword mode attack that it doesn't have. And a... Well, I'm gonna call it Wild Swing. This one's called Hack and Slash. Finisher... That exists. That... Guild has. Adept is different. Valor is different. Alchemy is different. Valor and Alchemy are the most different, I think. I'm gonna try alchemy, because it seems the most interesting in terms of differences. Like, it has a lot more impact, because you just morph between the weapon, like, you morph between axe and sword much more readily. Which seems interesting. Oh, the, I thought Nibble Snarf. It took a long time. And it was my first faint. But it took a very, very long time. I messed up. Well, unless you can only bomb it once. I bombed it once. I didn't manage to fish it in the two opportunities I had. So it was not the most successful. I can do the Legombi. Except... I, I don't like this mechanic. Because I don't think I can modify stuff once I pick a quest. It's, it's a quality of life change that's been made that I think is great. I'm gonna try alchemy out of curiosity. I'm gonna get rid of trance slash. Wait, I'm gonna absolute evasion there and put trance slash uh, and put energy charge here. I haven't actually used energy charge yet. I know what it does, but like. I forgot that I'd unlocked them. So it's Legombi time. The fun rabbit. Shoot. Probably want to bring um, hot, dr hot drink. I choose this set. 
then I no hunter strength. What does that even do? Ah. Psycho serums will be nice eventually. We should work. There's different habits that I need to develop playing this game. Oh, report begins. Oh, telegraph. I think basically is what that's referencing. Kind of. Alchemy barrels mechanic. I actually have to grab it, don't I? I know there's stuff about waving to the hot air balloon. I don't know if this- or if I wave to it, does it show me where the monster is? Okay, it's on eight. Okay. That's cool. I like that as a mechanic. It's neat. They have a lot more HP because of the armor. So I'm less likely to die super easily. I think 278 is the best path. Because 4568 is probably slower. Ah, maybe not. Maybe this needs me to climb, which will take longer than running. Yeah, okay, getting to 7 will require a lot of climbing. The alchemy barrel. I don't know how it really works. I know that there's like, if you use it once, you can get faster. You can get a whetstone. But I don't know if the whetstone actually does whetstone stuff or if it just... Uh, or if it just provides better hunter art charge. I can press A, I can shake it again, I can get food. I'm assuming it is a consumable. I'm not... Ah, uh, you know, I will use... Because if this provides infinite whetstones, I kind of like that. Just for, like, laziness. Well, early game laziness. Because I need to update my... I need to update my set item. Setups to include whetstones, because I haven't been... I like the font. I sh maybe I should use the whetstone first. I just want to know. Okay, here's the interesting thing. There's some weird like... Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about how it behaves. No, that's different. That is different. It's not... Lord swinging, but it is different. Maybe I need to... I guess it's just different. I don't know all the way it's different, but it is... Clearly different. Yeah, why, why, why is different. And then this is a double slash. It's such a weird. Oh, that felt a little wide, but it probably wasn't. Oh. No, that, that does feel a little bit wide. It's a different functional 
Like the combos are different with it, which is interesting. I don't know how to... So up, down, can I morph the same? I can. I don't know what the black flash is. Like whether it's indicative of... I'm just going to attack here because... Like a super good hit? Or what? There's the morph. Yeah, does that morphing only occur when the gauge is full? Because that's interesting. I kind of want to know how it behaves. Okay, does this actually sharpen or does it just provide the bonus? It does sharpen. I'm going to just see what more shakes does. Immunizer, sonic bomb, earplugs. Neat. I have no reason to have your plugs here, I think, but it's interesting. And now that I've done that, it's a waste because the gauge is low, which probably means I should have... Maybe the alchemy booster would help with the gauge? I'm just kind of trying to figure this out. I should have demon rioted before. I'm confusing myself. Yes, I forgot to paintball. And I also wrong control scheme. Bad habits developed from Rise and World, where I press right bumper to run and sheathe instead of having to manually sheathe. I want to mess around with the alchemy stuff because it's kind of neat. But I'm also gonna try that. I'm gonna try Valor, Aerial, and Adept at various points. Oh yeah, that's weird. It's a very different. Um, the fact there's different combos is kind of funny. You get such an odd. difference to have, I think. Which, it, it adds a lot of variety. Yeah, I can't do that into an upward, so maybe I could never do that. Oh, I should be doing this. keep the charge going to keep the de demon riot up. Oh. And here's where it gets interesting again because the faster morphing mechanics, I think. Maybe not, though. Yeah, there's some more. Okay, maybe I was misunderstanding it earlier. Uh, that's a bad... The sheath was not very good there. I feel like I, I'm either misremembering a combo that I've learned in the last, in only in the last week, or let's see what happens here for a second. Yeah, B 
bee gets it to this. I'm going to drop the demon riot, which is not ideal. It's not a huge issue. The fight's almost over. What happens if I just keep shaking it? So, food whetstone. Immunizer sonic bomb. Earplugs booster. I don't know what alchemy slick means. I assume fireball is you throw it and it does something. Cheer is a buff and remedy cures stuff? I'm assuming the cheer is a... Attack? No, it's not an attack boost. No idea. I probably should... It's one of the things that I probably should just search on the internet. Oh. It doesn't have the same reload. Like, it reloaded it, but it only got like... I don't know, a tenth of the gauge. Which is kind of interesting. It's just a side effect of alchemy, because you can... The rapid morphing between the two on different attacks... I should probably throw this, huh? Oh, it did absolutely nothing there, despite being right beside its ear. Yeah, I don't... I guess there must be a timing to use it. I assumed, hey, it has giant ears, so you throw it, it will cripple it for a second. And it'll be unable to do anything. I did actually break something. Yeah, that, it's, it's very slow on some of these that I thought, at least the different style had access to, uh, or the um, striker style I think had a combo that I'm trying to do constantly, but I'm not able to because this alchemy doesn't have it. I got locked into a back, I was mashing. I definitely would have evaded. I do like how much squishier the Palicos seem to be. At least my impression is in Oh no, it does switch. It just takes a little bit longer than I thought it would. Okay, it just takes more hits before it starts morphing. You don't actually need the full gauge, which makes sense. If you need a full gauge, that'd be awkward. It's just less fluid than I would have thought than I thought initially. You know what? Let's not fight right by the zone change. I hope that wasn't too close. Yeah, that that didn't feel bad. Like, I'd say it felt practically the same for how I played. Like, I didn't use the, um, I haven't been using the activated devices enough. I'm assuming that increases alchemy gauge gain, so you really want to activate that. I assume this behaves like a sonic bomb. Oh, it... Oh, it's a bomb! That... Okay, that's awkward. That's good to learn that it's that... Seemingly that awkward to use. Good to learn it now. 
I don't trust my own memory. I'm pretty sure I carved it properly, but I got I could have gotten distracted. And also, I don't really care if I missed it. It's not the end of the world. Ice claw. Ice claw. Ice claws. Please be useful. Not terrible. Excavator. Interesting. A lot. Like, Ariel seems kind of neat. I want to try. Valor. I don't know. I don't think I really want to use Valor because... The mechanic about sheathing, I'm bad at sheathing normally. So having to worry about sheathing more than that would be kind of difficult. Yeah, I'm going to do some of these minor quests real quick. Yeah, I'll do two. I'll do these two. I'll leave the fishing for the end, actually. I'll just do this. If I run into a monster, I'll fight it. But... I need to check info properly. But I just want to do mess around with the different alchemy items a little more, see how they all behave. I don't think this is, I guess it's a bug bomb there probably. Poison smoke bomb? Yeah. Like if I can group them up and throw it, I can get... I can actually harvest them, I think. Instead of blowing them up. I'm not going to use a bug bomb unless it hits at least three. It's not a bug bomb, it's a poison smoke bomb, but... I do want to mess around with the... Don't go away. Come back. Ah, oh, whatever. I give up. They're not going to group up. Maybe if I hit them with gentle enough attacks, they don't explode. I assume they do. Oh, maybe boomer- no. Boomerangs might- nope, at least my Palico's boomerangs don't lead to explosions. I think the combos on the alchemy style might not be- Maybe that one. I didn't want that attack. I wanted this attack. The combos in the alchemy style might be less um, appealing, which might be a reason to not use alchemy versus striker. But I need, I need to get, so once I get to three, I can you get the alchemy booster. With the alchemy booster, I can mess with the alchemy barrel more, I think. It does seem... If that's sort of the intended mechanism, it does seem a little tedious to micromanage. Like, oh, always keep the alchemy booster going. I guess it's basically, you get an alchemy booster. Once you've regen enough, you get another alchemy booster. And then whenever you use an alchemy booster, you always make sure that you are prepared to use another one. Like, it's always the first priority if you want to keep Alchemy Booster up at all times. Maybe not. Maybe the Alchemy Booster is not that important. Now, if these guys would group up, it would be wonderful. As good as I'm going to get a tiny AoE, but they can walk into it. I guess it doesn't kill them. It just kills them slowly. 
they do die. It's probably not that worth it. Just use it to get a few carves, and that's all I'm going to get. And if I get lucky, I can get a few extra carves in the process. Where'd that guy go? There he is. Just explode it. It's better to just get the hunt over with. I need the part. I want the parts, but... There's only so much I can bother with. Okay, so... Like, the earplugs seem nice as well. Like, it seems like a very convenient mechanic. Easy access to earplugs, you don't need to build for it. I wonder if it will show a monster. Even if there's no target. Oh. It seems to have. What will it be? If it's an interesting monster, I will hunt it. Actually, I think it's a Gypseros, isn't it? Sure. I think that'd be worth hunting. It might unlock some Palico skills. Oh, wow, that was kind of funny. Oh, that's where it does flash. Oh, and even if I'm facing this direction, it still stuns me. Ah, uh, good gameplay. Good gameplay. Okay. I assume I have to... Do I have to face my camera away? I assume that, like... Like, if it's just facing the character away, then I'm pretty sure I was far enough away. Okay, so if I face this way, no, I just have to move away. That's worth learning. I mean, that's kind of annoying. Oh, okay, instant stun again. This is actually a terrible monster, huh? Oh, I should be controlling that. I think this is an awful monster. Not like bad design, just like awful to fight without stun resist. I'm pretty sure immunizers are not a stun immunity providing device. Move. Okay, good. I want to get the one, two, three booster. I mean, the the flash stun is slow enough, I think, to not be that bad to have to escape from. I think the fact that I still become unable to see anything like that is kind of extreme. I assume I can break its nose, though. Just 
Get out of the way for a second. Oh, tail. Oh, that tail stretches. Seemingly. Oh. I bet Adept Style would be pretty good if you can, like, Adept Evade. Because Adept Evade means, like, you get a lot more evasion capabilities. Like, you could Adept Evade through that. I imagine. I would hope. Otherwise, what's the point of adept if you can't evade stuff like that? Oop. I need to know what the alchemy food does. I assume it's more than just food. Like, it's delays the reduction in hunger. But maybe not. Okay, that's just the funniest element of this game. Just the transition is clearly indicated by a shadow sh suddenly showing up. I think that's funny. I'm just sort of appearing out of nowhere. Why do I have two alchem- Oh, I did I craft one right at the start? I must have. That's kind of a lot of wind force. Again. Now, if that works, then Adeptivate probably works. I need to really make sure that I keep Absolute Evasion up. Because uh, if I have Absolute Evasion up, I don't need to run away like this. But since I don't have Absolute Evasion up... I had to run. This is where the immunizer might be useful. I already have a spare whetstone. Um, nope. That does not remove poison. I don't know what it does. Should probably learn. That's fine. No, I, I am, I think, healing faster, which could be from the immunizer. Maybe. I'm gonna get greedy. Just make sure I have the booster always ready. I think it's interesting. I don't know if I'm doing it correctly at all, but it's interesting. Okay, straight to the face. I probably should demon riot, but I think hitting the face when it's down is maybe more important. Can we have demon riot here? It'll have to rotate before it can charge me. I got locked in. Oh. Did I kill it? No. Oh, I did? It did? It's dead. Cool.
Oh, it's about to explode. Yeah, it's a fake out. That's fun. But I'm kind of curious about the flashing light when it's still alive. That's a good mechanic, I think. Oops. I was looking at wet stones. We're looking for wet stones. That's a good mechanic. It works well when you're not targeting it. I don't know how it behaves in the event of a um Let's try that. If you're actually hunting the monster, I don't know how it behaves. I probably do want the immunizer now, actually, because I'm losing way more HP than I did when I had the immunizer active. Which is either because the immunizer heals. Can't remember if immunizer was two slots or not. I think it was two. I want to see if I can Sonic Bomb. That's a fun trick. I like that. But yeah, I, I don't know how it behaves if it's like a target monster. Because like... Oh wait, Alchemy Sonic Bomb. Whoops. Alchemy Sonic Bomb is, feels really bad. And it might also do nothing in this context anyway. Yeah. Does nothing anyway. Like it's probably kind of welcome... Or, uh, uh, no, greedy. It worked, but. It's probably welcome. I'm confusing myself. Apologies. Be the. Okay. Quest Gypseros. If it doesn't have the whole, like, end pop-up, then it's going to be a little bit more obvious. But I assume it's dead now, right? I mean, it, it still has a hitbox, so it might not be. Yeah, and it's still flashing. I'm basically dead, though. So I assume the flashing means that it's about to break. It's fine. So now it doesn't explode. sidetracked too much. Just hope that I get someone to walk through that. I missed. Oh well. Yep. This could be Gypseros. I'm not sure about the pronunciation. This is fun. The alchemy style specifically. The monster's cool too, but... It's, it's a cool, um... Design. So let me move. And now it's actually dead. Because there's no hitbox. I was confused. Because... Normally... Monsters in this game... Ooh, rubbery hide's not a... Uh... I assume Rubbery Hide was a drop from, like, Kezu, which I think is in this game. But the- I was confused by it being hit, and I was like, oh, maybe I misremembered? But yeah, like, it, in Rise, and I think World, 
you can beat up the corpses of monsters and it does do stuff. Which, I was like, I didn't think this game did that. But I got tricked. I hate... I hate this. Nahabra. I hate that this is what this quest is about and not killing a Gypsaros. I would take hunting a Gypsaros. I would take hunting two Gypsaros any day. Or Gypsaros. Pronunciation, as always, is a mystery. I give up. I'm going to go to zone 5 and hope that there's more. Nope. I'll go 8 to 7. And then back to 4. We need to eat some rations. I like the infinite, like, resource element. Like, easy infinite resources. I assume that the alchemy whetstone might restore less than a normal whetstone. It might not. I don't know. But that's the type of thing that I would expect from this game. Or this series in general. Not in like a, oh, it's a terrible decision kind of way. Just in a... I don't know, punishing, like punishing like the, I mean, punishing is not the right word, like balancing it by making it so that, yeah, you get extra hunter art charge, but it comes at the expense of sharpness per action. Because you have an infinite supply of them, I assume. I assume there's no like eventual drop in production of alchemy power. There could be for all I really know. But yeah, next I'm going to do... Whatever I hunt next is probably going to be uh, adept, but I'm going to have to use... I mean, it's going to have to be a monster hunt. Like a proper hunt, it can't be a gathering quest, because the dodging's not really going to be relevant if there's no large, if there's no monster to dodge. I hate this mechanic in this game. Like, I think bug-based quests, hunting bug-based quests that can fly like this, sure, you can use a bow gun, a bow, it would help. I just, it's not, there's nothing about these hunts that's fun. Other than hunting a Gypsaros. Or Gyps, again, Gypsaros, I don't know. Like, that was fun. I had a good time. I really don't need to do this. And, like, alchemy gives earplugs. It seems very high utility. Which feels convenient for single player, solo hunts. It adds a little bit of extra versatility. And I don't know, maybe if I'm, if I eventually do hub quests and they take a long time and I have to go through 12 whetstones per hunt, Maybe having that extra little bit of, um, whetstone and food potential would be nice. Okay, please. Okay, it exploded, unfortunately, but, like, I think that could be a good benefit. 
the ability to morph is a little bit less interesting than I was hoping. It's kind of neat, but I actually think it's more annoying than I think it's, I find it beneficial so far in terms of the combos that are accessible. Like the, it has the better basic sword combo, I think. I don't think, but like, there's a few attacks that I think I was doing that worked. And then there's this, I don't know how it behaves. It doesn't have the wild swing in that context. It has that still, but I don't use often. But it's interesting differences. Like very small combo based differences that I think is really interesting. I think having that sort of system is kind of fun. Having a little bit more clarity in game as to the differences would be nice. Like if um, Monster Hunter Rise has the whole, whole thing of combos. If there was like a clear page in Hunter Notes about, yep, this is what is different between the two. That would be wonderful. I would really enjoy that change. Like, obvious, clear, instead of having to check online or just find it out by pressing. Because the combo, it's like the wild swing which I can't do in this. Has a, if I morph while doing it, it has a finisher that is present in Rise. So I probably should have tried that, but... I didn't know it was there because I didn't press the one button to learn that it was there. get launched because I'm pretty sure with the other with striker style I can go from the opening attack into a upwards but maybe I can't I can do a, a hunt with a monster next trying because it's either gonna be aerial or Fantastic Extractus, good probably. Be killing a Gypseros, presumably is how I got Bouncy Bombay. Because of Rubbery Hide. It's either Aerial or Adept that I want to try. Probably not against a. I don't think I want to do it versus a um, crab or no I don't want to do adept versus a crab Ariel might be nice against the daimyo hermitor yeah it might be pretty good cephadrome and conchu velocidrome's pretty simple it's probably a better um basic test though. I didn't check. It should be... Oh, it's Verdant Hills. I think it's Verdant is the word. Oh yeah, do I have... I don't know if I've made one of these yet. I must have if I have that many. Wild and Bone, yeah. This system is so complicated, but I actually love it. I love that you need to actually, like, collect so many different things to upgrade weapons. I think it's interesting. Again, I, I think it doesn't need to be so secretive. Yeah, this is leveled up using stuff. Like, I don't think hiding the le higher level weapons is beneficial. 
I don't think it's that bad, but it doesn't really add anything. Yeah. Shogun San Shogun Sanitar. Gypsaros gives poison and stamina and looks pretty goofy. I hate this mechanic. Like, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But I, I can't adjust my items out there. Yeah. If I do that, I'll do Adept. I don't know how it works exactly. I just know that there's better dodging. I don't know what I run. I probably don't need Absolute Evasion. I probably either run Energy Charge or Demon Riot. I'll do Energy Charge. Can I uh, remove... Oops, wrong button. Unequip, yes. And equip it there. Except for the fact that actually this is where I put Absolute Evasion. Yeah. Put... Ener no, I should be consistent. Energy charge is down. I should do my items on here. I might need... It should be fine. Eat. I need to get into the habit of eating. It's just always this, this roll, which might not be correct. That's B. B is down, not to the right. Ah, both triggered. Kind of fun. So yeah, I, I want to hunt the Velocidrome. Since it's a sub-quest, it has to be there. I already did this. So, I want to mess around with the Adeptive Aid and the attacks that follow up the Adeptive Aid. I don't know what else has changed. Well, I don't remember what else has changed. There, I think this is a bunch of specific combo stuff. I watched a video. I was curious about some of it. Oh, this is Monster Hunter, the first game, right? Is there a... Balloon, not right here. That's a pretty moon. I don't know how the balloon works. My guess is it's a... It's in one of the zones that you can see it. Not every zone. If it's there at all. I feel like maybe it's not here at all. Excuse me. Sorry. Look at the two purple stars. That's a... I do stuff to kill Velocipray, so I... I should... Okay, can I do this? That's at least the same. The energy charge charges a lot. Ah, it's not that much slower compared to what I'm expecting. Not that I have particularly specific or precise expectations. Okay, three. Three drones. Is that still basically the same? Or is it? No, it is different, isn't it? Because it doesn't have the, um, that sort of attack that I thought was part of the, uh, XXX combo. I don't know, though. I feel so much more compelled to harvest small monsters in this game.
Because there's so many more parts that are needed in general. I need to see what the B combo is and the wild swing. Those are the important things to check. Nope. Attack me, please. That's an attack for sure. That was X. Nope. I'm not going to do this the whole time. I just want to see how it behaves. I need to make sure that I get hit a f or get a few of the evades in. Eh, that's too slow. I'm bad. Okay. Okay, B does a run and no attack, so that seemingly is nothing. I can't see anything here. This is a terrible place to hunt. Thank you. Can I evade and then attack out of... I'm too slow because I'm... Okay, it does... Okay, if I press B there, it does nothing. And by B, I mean A. Okay, attack me. Too slow. Yeah, it's not my style, probably. The attacks are cool. Yeah, a morph? No, did nothing? Okay. Is it just all on X? Is that all the only morph-based stuff? Or the only um, adept attacks? Too slow, because I'm bad. That's the same... Well, that's not the same, actually. Too slow. Too slow. It ran past me. It's kind of interesting. Maybe. I also wanted to check this. So. Up. Down. No wild swing. Or was it this into Wild Swing? Okay, it's that into Wild Swing, so I messed it up earlier. It doesn't have the finisher. So I need to check Alchemy Style again. Because I might have done the inputs wrong, because it's not simple. I can't remember all of them. It's not difficult, necessarily, but... Okay, it's a couple slashes. That's kind of boring. It's pretty good, probably, but it's still boring. It does have the double hit there. No B? Yeah, no B. And... Oh, that's not a attack. Please just... Attack me? Ah, oh, whatever, I give up. It is probably not a an attack on the morph command control. Given how this game... Given that the Axe one only attacks on X, I assume it's the case that... The... Sword probably only attacks on X as well. It's not bad. The evade's good if you're good, but I'm not, so... I think Adept is probably not my style. Alchemy was appealing. I still haven't tried Valor. And I still haven't tried Ariel. Ariel seems awkward to get used to initially, though, because it swaps the forward roll for a um, 
jump thing. That's probably really easy to mess up. Like you jump onto a monster when you try when normally you'd want to roll through it, and then you die because you get comboed. But it seems kind of interesting. It has a lot a bit going for it in terms of variety. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like if there were twice as many Maybe there are, maybe I'm missing something. But if there were like twice as many uh post dodge adept moves, it'd be a lot more interesting. But given that it seems like there's only one for each form, it feels a little bit less uh interesting. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice against Axe monsters, though. Like, it's probably not bad. I'm not going to say for even a second that I think it's bad. Okay, that should be fine. I could just not kill four more yet. Yeah, I don't think Adept is interesting enough. Like if there were, if there's twice as much, or maybe even three times as much variety on the attacks post dodge, I think it would be f more fun. But since it doesn't, it seems, maybe I'm missing something, that there's no like adept dodge into a morphing type attack, it feels a lot less interesting. I was, I was actually kind of hoping for a like, Adept Dodge Morph Attack. But there isn't one, seemingly, so... The monsters run a lot more in this game. They really do. It makes sense that they do. They're low HP, they should run. But like... They're so much more likely to run. Wait, no, uh, I remembered. There's a... Weapon draw... You can draw into sword mode. Let's see this. Hopefully this hits. And it hits decently. Nope, it missed. Yeah, that's kind of... I assume, yeah, I can delay the swings. But the, the axe one seems more reliable on monsters like this that are big. Uh, by big, I mean that jump past you, which is not big at all. It has nothing to do with the size of the monster. Look at the family. Nice and safe. Yeah, they have like seven or eight claws on their front legs. That's kind of crazy. The big one, at least. It's a lot. One, two, the big one. One, two. Might be five, but it's kind of... They have a lot more, um... Like, knuckles? Yeah, one, two, three on the left. And three on the right. They have seven claws. That's a lot of claws. It's kind of an interesting choice. I think it's more interesting than if it was just five. Okay. Can I dodge small guys? I can. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I wonder if there's a... they attack me. I wonder if I can do a, like a... 
Uh, they don't attack because it's end of fight, seemingly. They just do the jumping around stuff. Because they're afraid. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Adapter's kind of neat. I guess I'll stop here. Timelines don't really function, but... This will release... When I'm probably in the middle. Or, it's either in the middle or after. I stream this game. So, timelines are weird, but by the next time, in terms of release based order, or start accessibility, when it's accessible, I don't know. Next thing will be hopefully I'll be at four star village quests. And if not, I'll be close. Because I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on these, like, do the various little quests, do this, that, get as many of these done as I can. It could take a while, but I'll do as many as I can, basically. There's only one large monster left, which is kind of a shame, but a lot of these call for... Like this, an Iodrome subquest, a Tetsukabra subquest. And I will hunt during those. A Kezu Whelp. I assume that's a drop from a Kezu? I don't know. Oh, wait, no, isn't a Kezu Whelp a thing where if you have it equipped, it drains your HP? Constantly? I don't know. And by equipped, I mean in your inventory. I'm not sure, though. But... I'm gonna mess with alchemy more. I do also want to try Ariel and Valor, but I'll save that for next time. Guild is the only one that I'm not really that interested in trying. But... I don't know. Kind of interested in the SP stuff. I don't know how SP arts really work. I assume I basically just press like, why? Nope, a swap. Right, that turns it into an SP art. I have Absolute Evasion here and Demon Rat. Maybe. So that goes from extra small to small, small to medium, large to extra large. I don't know if SP arts are worth having. But what is it? it gives faster alchemy gauge. I don't know if I really need faster alchemy gauge with the if I use the alchemy booster. But that is it for today. Sort of. It's just time doesn't. That's it for this episode. This video. Yeah, I'll continue next time. I probably won't finish three star next three stars before next time. I might save the urgent quest. I might not. It's all a question of if I unlock the urgent quest timing wise. 
Like if it takes three and a half hours to unlock the urgent quest, then I probably won't do it. If it takes an hour and a half, I probably will. Yeah, I'll stop here. And next time will be something. And I will try the Valor and Aerial styles because they seem interesting. Again, no guild style because it seems the least interesting. Yeah, stop here. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.